we are going to carry on with our really exciting sentences about the story. And then I'm going to put all of your ideas together and make up a class retelling of the Queen's Hat. So let's see if we can um, spot what's going on here. So here's the Queen and she's running off out of her hat. And what are the guards doing? They're chasing after her and the hat, aren't they? Have you seen? <laughs> Look who's this at the end. I think there's, there's a butler here racing behind with some tea. Now, we could just say that the guards ran after the Queen and the hat, but I think we can do better than that, can't we? Let's see if we can think of some other words that mean the same as ran. OK, so I've got chased so far. Hmm. Can you think of any other words? So imagine you are playing tag at school and you are chasing after somebody. What other words could we use? if you're running after them. Pause the video now and have a little chat. If you want to, you can jot them down. Otherwise, just say them out loud, then come back. OK, here are my words. If we were at school, we would do this together, wouldn't we, on the whiteboard? So here's, here's my list. I've got chased, raced, charged, and maybe a bit like what elephants would do, flew, darted, sprinted, scampered. We could use one of our words from last week, um, from the Emily Jane, couldn't we? We could do zoomed. That would be good as well. Now, which one am I going to choose? I think I'm going to choose um, sprinted. Okay. So here's my sentence. I'm going to say the guards sprinted after the hats. It's always a good idea to rehearse your sentence before you write it, isn't it? I'm going to zoom in a bit. Now, what do we need to start a sentence with? That's right, a capital letter. The guard sprinted after the hat. The guards. Now, guards is a tricky word, but it is on the um, document, or on the slide. So you've got that on your word bank to copy. The guards sprinted. Can you help me spell that? Sp -er now, when it's a past tense verb, like sprinted, it sounds like it's just got a d on the end, but it's actually e d like that. OK. The guard sprinted after the hat. And what do we need at the end of a sentence? A full stop. That's it. Right, I want you to have a go now at giving me a really exciting sentence that is better than the guards went after the hat or the guards ran after the hat. You can use one of your own words or one of these words here.